What's up Trickers, I'm back with another video, starting off the week with some different types of combos, I do not want to keep doing the same combos over and over again, so I limited myself to doing them only twice and then moving on. I've been getting a weird tweak in my back when I do cartwheels, and it's really annoying because cartwheel is like the easiest setup to do into tricks. I'm guessing the source of the problem is my computer chair because it's missing the backrest. I leant too far back on it and it just broke so I ripped the whole thing out and now whenever I'm editing videos or playing Minecraft or anything I'm just sitting hunched over at my screen for hours on end. I finished the session off with some b-boy practice in the pursuit of learning air flare and I also wanted to do the handstand to strengthen my back a little bit. The backwards roll out of this double backflip gave me some major whiplash and it hurt pretty bad. I had a bit of a headache but I would honestly prefer that over undercooking it and crunching my ankles because I was pretty scared of that happening and that's probably why I put heaps of power into it. That was my first setup for double backflip that didn't use my hand so I was pretty stoked with that. It was not that hard and then I wanted to utilize this new setup for pop 12 from the rap full and put it in a nice meaty combo with a trip full at the end. Um, so I had to drill it out a few times to get a clean landing. managed to squeeze out a little combo out of the double B twist for the first time. It was not the prettiest but I just made it work and then um, yeah here I'm just working on some scoots because cartwheel is making my back feel funny so thought I might work on scoots a bit more because I neglect them um, but here you see I do a bit of a sketchy landing for the hyper hook. Um, no injuries though. Next day I wanted to work on my stamina so I drilled out 10 pop fulls in a row and I kind of do this weird spin thing at the end to get to 10 but we got there and then some G switches into some cork swings only three because I was kind of gassed from the pop fulls um, and then I moved on to some basic combos. At this point in the week my body is lacking power and I'm heavily relying on just pure technique to get through these sessions. I found out that if I just do a rap full instead of a cartwheel, my back doesn't tweak out as much, so that was pretty interesting. And also when I was coaching and I was teaching someone to scoot, I was demonstrating scoot on my opposite side, and I felt the tweak in my back like a million percent, so I'm thinking that's a sign that I need to do more dark side tricking. Nothing too crazy to finish off the week. I wanted to hit some dub full swing throughs but as I was saying before the power was just not there so I did end up having to move on to just doing some gainer semis and cork semis which I've been having heaps of fun with at the moment and there's something I didn't really ever do before I even learned how to do you know like double cork so definitely a bit of a gap in my training that I am now filling in by spamming heaps of uh, semi landings. The same thing happened here where I wanted to hit 0-2 and 1-2 and swing throughs but I just wasn't feeling powerful enough so I decided to do cork semi instead and honestly it's kind of cooler than dub cork because then I could do rap 9 out of it and then eventually I'll be able to do front swing Webster or front swing raise. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did feel free to subscribe and like and comment and I will see you guys again next week.